So do you think we're in a bubble? Do you think we're at peak VC? Oh, Where are we? I think we're in a huge bubble. I mean, I think the election is, uh, uh, is a testament to that. Um, I think that there is almost too much capital available to investors, making too much capital available to entrepreneurs, which raises prices, uh, which raises expectations. And there are a lot of people working on what I would think of as uh, trivial problems as opposed to the real problems that the country faces. Where, what are the trivial problems? I mean, do we need another more optimized advertising system to further uh, uh, a consumer culture that's based around consumption of goods and services? Um, you know, there needs to be some balance, I think. So how does this then play out? Is there some sort of oh, yeah. catastrophe I, or disaster? I think it depends how you Pop. define it. Maybe, there's, uh, maybe those are good things to happen. I think what happens is ultimately interest rates probably go up uh, sometime soon. As a result, the stock market corrects anywhere from 1,000 to more uh, points. And the pendulum will swing the other way. Capital will become harder to come by. And I think there will be an overreaction. It will seem like Armageddon when it's not that. It's just part of the natural business cycle, and I think we're overdue for that kind of correction. So who's headed for a wake-up call? Oh, I think a lot of us uh, got a wake-up call uh, in November, mm -hmm. uh, but I think uh, you'll see a, a lot of startups that were perhaps overfunded or overly optimistic not be able to raise future rounds. Now, um, I'm curious about why you left Google, and I, and I wonder, do you think that VC can't really be done from inside a big tech company I think very I'm, well. I hopefully, in my last you know ten years, proves that it can be. Uh, so you think that model works? There's there's nothing. I, th I think it, about it. I think it worked. I think you know my last day was August twelfth, and uh, you know beyond that, it's very difficult. Uh, running a venture fund is very difficult. Doing it inside a massive corporation is also difficult. Um, but uh, but it was successful. Uh, but I think. Um, uh, creating a the same model outside of uh, Google, I'm not sure that 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 didn't feel that inspiring at the end of the day, which is why I pulled the plug. What do you make of some of the transition that we've been been seeing inside Alphabet? You know, you're not the only uh, head of an Alphabet company to leave. What should we make of that? I I think every big company has turnover. I mean, honestly, I can only speak for myself. I had a fantastic team of people who are all still there. And I wish them huge success because I'm a, you know, I'm an investor with them in a lot of companies. Um, but is this just the usual turnover, or is this, you know, you know, spawned by the the arrival of Ruth Porat, a sort of cleaning of house? I think it's I think it's interesting to go on a witch hunt or or look for reasons. But uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Google is still full of fantastic people uh, that want to do important things. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, my team in particular, I think, feels that way. So I, you know, I can't speak for the company at large other than I had an amazing experience in a totally unique opportunity. And like anyone that was hired to do a job, it's, you need to know when that job is done. And I felt like my job was done. So what will you do next? Will you be angel investing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I will angel invest. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll help funds and companies and colleagues that, that, like I always have. But in terms of what the next big thing is, I think that's what the next few months are about, is taking a lot of calls and a lot of ideas and talking to people and seeing how I can help. And just one last question. You were very vocal about Theranos and uh, foresaw some of the problems that's there. That's still a thing. It's the, still a thing. Okay. Well, so my question is, what is the appetite for funding of healthcare-related startups in the wake of I've seen a huge increase in life science, interest in the life sciences, especially where machine learning and artificial intelligence can be applied to improve outcomes for patients. I think Theranos, whether it was in life sciences or not, is a really unfortunate story, uh, and uh, especially because it ended up hurting patients in the end. Um, but it hasn't put a damper, as far as I've seen, on uh, smart investors' appetite to uh, help innovation.